Hi. Thank you for meeting me here today. You said it was important, so... Everything all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no sling. See? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'll be bench pressing in no time, the doctor said. <laughs> what about Matthew? He's okay. He's okay, but that's um, actually why I called you. I think it's time. Well, it's time? I think it's time we tell Matthew that you're his father. Nora? Yes. Are you sure you're ready to tell Matthew? I think the point is, Bo, Matthew's ready. But he's still not past uh, Sam being gone. No, he's not. And he never will be. But he's gotten very close to you. Close enough to accept me as his dad? You know, the longer we wait, it's like lying to him. Yeah. He asked me uh, if he could call me Uncle Bo. And I said, no, no. Why, why don't we just wait for that? You know, I hope it didn't hurt him. No, it didn't hurt him. It confused him, and it disappointed him. He just wants to get closer to you, and uh, he needs to. And I need him to. Because when I was in the hospital, he was scared to death that I was going to die and that he would be left without any parent at all. And when I realized that, I just wanted to tell him everything right there on the spot. Oh, I, I don't want him to feel that way. I want him to know that no matter what happens to me, that he has a daddy who knows him, who loves him, who, and will take care of him for the rest of his life. When do you want to tell him? Tonight? Tonight? Well... <laughs> All right, no, I, I'd, I'd like to talk to Gabrielle about it first, sure. okay? Just so she doesn't get the wrong idea. Wrong idea about what? You and me. Oh, come on, please. She's not so bothered about that, is she? Well, no, I didn't think she was, but then, you know, then she got mixed up with Troy. She shouldn't get me. That was one kiss that Troy initiated, and that's it, Bo. I know that. Are you jealous? <laughs> no, she's beautiful, all yeah. right? I see other guys checking her out uh, when we walk by. When we? That means that you're the guy that she's with? Yeah, and I'm damn lucky, and I just wish that Gabrielle would believe that. Huh. What are you gonna do about it? What do you think? Oh, it's gorgeous. I've had that for a while. Well, when are you gonna give it to her? Tell you the truth, I don't know. Oh, Gabrielle, uh, Al called. He's not going to be able to join you this evening. Oh, what a pity. My cell phone must be turned off. Oh, well. I, I just noticed that Bo is here with Nora. Oh, yes. Um, well, I, uh, no problem. I can make another place at the table. Oh, no, that's not what I mean. I, I, I'm sure they're working, so I'll just go and say a quick hello. Thank you, though. Hello. Hi, Hi Gabrielle. Hi. I was just going to make a phone call. Okay. Am I glad to see you? Listen, if you two are busy in the middle no, of something, no, I don't no, have no, to we're interrupt done. Sit down, sit down, sit down now. Okay. Because we need to talk. Oh, nothing wrong, I hope. No, no. I don't think so. <laughs> and, uh, and I hope that you don't think so either. Okay. There's something that I have to ask you. And it's something that's really important. What is it? Honey, you know that I love you. And I want us to be together. I don't want anything to ever change that. Right? Oh, I feel exactly the same way. Oh, great. God, I'm glad to hear that because it makes everything a whole lot easier. Good, good, good. All right, I've been thinking about this for uh, quite a while. And now I think it's time to make the next move. 
Nor and I have decided to tell Matthew the truth. And I'm really his dad. Wow. Well, are you all right? Yeah, you? absolutely. I couldn't be happier for you. Hi. Um, did you guys see Lindsay with Rex? Is that weird to you? Nah, he's just working her about Jen. About Jen? Didn't they already get divorced? I mean, what's he working her for? Because guys like Rex, they're always working somebody. Right now, he's probably working her in case he needs something from her later on. Yeah. Oh. Whatever. Did you guys, um, talk? About Matthew, yes. And, of course, you should tell Matthew who his father is. Okay. I'm going to bring the car around. Okay. Thank you for understanding. Of course, Matthew should know that Bo is his father. Even though it means Bo and I might be spending a little more time together? I'm all right with that, Nora. Really? Yes. Good, because, um... Well, he needs his dad, you know. I'll make sure Bo gets home early. Are you sure you saw Bo with the ring? Positive. Absolutely sure. So I don't understand. You know, I thought he was going to give it to me. Well, maybe he's waiting to surprise you with it. When? And why is he showing it to Nora? How do they act around you? Hmm? Why? What do you mean? Well, I mean, are they like, uh, are they like nervous or guilty or evasive or anything like that? No, no. Then why don't you give this a rest? You're right. You're right. Yes. Then why didn't he give me the ring? He will. When? He's had ample opportunities. Well, not every guy is like me. You know, I go into a casino, pop the question, wake up the next morning hungover and married. Mm -hmm. Right on that score. Do you think it could be because I didn't tell him the truth about Troy in the first place and he hasn't really forgiven me? Look, you two are solid. That is what you told me. Yes, but now he's going to tell Matthew that he is his father. And you know what that means, Max. It means it's going to pull them together. It does not mean it's going to cut in on your action with Bo. Max, I'm asking you to help me. Will you help me? What do you need me to do? I need you to make Bo jealous. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next one like to live. Now I want a better diamond. Walker Lawrence has it. I think I'm on to something. You mind giving me a hint? I told you I'd help. And what if it's too late? If it's okay with you, I'd like to be your dad.